You need to hear him for yourself because your situation, your life is not going to be like the rest of the world. We are Christians. We are a child of God. We are royalty. The way we do things, the way we operate, it's not going to be the same. And we're not going to be able to relate to a lot of people. What's poppin' people? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why you need to hear the Lord's voice for yourself. Stop relying on other people. Stop relying on your pastor, on your parents, that person who you think is more spiritually connected than you. Like... You need to take the time and really commit to developing an ear to hear the Lord, and I'm going to give you the best two reasons why you should do that. But before we get into the video, I'm going to remind you guys, because I always forget, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave something in the comments, let me know if anything is making sense, if you guys have more questions that you want me to elaborate on in another video, and we're going to get into it now. So, let's go. So, before I give you guys the two points, I just want to mention things I've mentioned in prior videos, and I will link them in the screen. But something I want to really bring to your attention is a lot of the question that I get a lot is how to know that it's God. And I posted a video on this last Friday. And the number one way, in my opinion, that you will know that it's God talking to you is if what you are contemplating doing or not doing or saying involves you being selfless. And the video that I'll link here is going to elaborate a little bit more on that. But God is a giving God. And if we we're supposed to be made in his image, well, we are made in his image, so we're supposed to be like, be more like him. He is going to require us to do things that are selfless and not selfish. Another question that people ask me is, what does it sound like? The best way I can describe it is, I guess you could say your conscience. It's just something that you have to learn to trust. It's like that inner voice. And the more you listen to it and the more it proves to be right, the more you'll trust it. And then you really won't have that debate as much, like if it's the Lord talking to you or not. So the best way I can say, like what it sounds like, it's just your conscience. And if you are being really disobedient, like I was at one time, it's more of like a tugging at your heart and it's always on your mind and really God really won't let up until you do exactly what he's telling you to do and he'll give you signs and that's something for another video but again I will link a video here for you guys so you guys can watch the video on how to hear God's voice and if you are prepared to hear God's voice because before you do this or before you make that decision because it is a big decision I highly recommend you watch those two videos so the number one reason that I think is very beneficial and very important for you to hear the Lord for yourself like why I think it's such a big need is so you really won't be relying on other people to communicate God's message to you. Yes, you have pastors. Yes, you have people who have more wisdom than you. But in certain situations, if no one knows what you're going through, the only way to get through what you are going through is by having an ear to hear the Lord. And I think that is just the biggest perk because let's say that person that you are used to going to, that person that really just speaks to you and every time they talk to you it's like right on cue what happens if they're not available or what happens if that person is no longer in your life what are you gonna do just stop talking to the Lord or are you just gonna sit there and be like okay well they're not here so what am I to do I don't know what to do like no once you develop an ear to hear the Lord it is so liberating because you're not waiting on anyone you are not waiting for someone to answer the phone. You're not waiting for someone to go to lunch with you. You're not waiting for someone to respond to a text. Like, yes, when you're talking to the Lord, he will take his time. He'll respond when he wants to. That may be right away and maybe a week later, but he will respond. But it just, it takes off that burden of having to wait for someone else. And the Bible literally tells us to not depend on anyone. Like we're supposed to be dependent on the Lord solely because what happens is if you start to depend on other people and I'm a witness, if you start to depend on other people to hear God for you, he will eliminate those people from your life so you can do nothing but go to him. It has happened to me more than one time. I just honestly think that it is the best thing to know that you hear the Lord and to just trust your instincts and trust that he has you. Because like I mentioned in the video prior, I'm gonna have the card in the beginning, I'll put it here again. But once you develop an ear to hear the Lord and you fully understand and you have relationship, you know that whatever he's telling you to do, whatever he's telling you to say or lack thereof, you will not fail because you know what's coming directly from him. And so while it may seem like a sacrifice on your part in the moment, like it's going to be for your benefit. Like I mentioned before, he had ripped me of pride. I still have my moments, but for the most part, like 
I'm thankful because that selfishness that I didn't even know was there was in me, that pride that I didn't really know was there, like he removed it by having me do things that I wouldn't normally do. Like I wouldn't, like if I listened to flesh, I listened to what other people told me to do, that selfishness would still be there. But because I developed an ear to hear him, I did things that he told me to do. And while I cringed a lot and I questioned him a lot, I'm a better person because of it. And yes, while I'm still waiting for some blessings, I have received some blessings, regardless of the time frame, regardless of what it is, it's all for your benefit. And once you develop a relationship with the Lord and you know his voice, you're gonna know that there's no harm that's gonna come from being obedient. There's no harm from him telling you to wait and you wait. There's no harm in him telling you to go for it and you go for it. It's just all going to be beneficial because the one who knows all is telling you to do it. So the second reason that I would say hearing God's voice is a need is because everyone's situation is different. No matter how similar it may seem, no matter if someone has told you they go through the same thing and they're gonna give you the steps to do it, like it really doesn't matter because if you're operating on a spiritual level, someone who's giving you earthly and fleshly advice, it's not gonna work. And then you're just gonna be frustrated because you're gonna wonder why your efforts aren't paying off like this other person, but it's because your situation is different. So if you think about those like dating coaches or you think about those parenting coaches, I think that's what they're called, whatever. Um, they can give advice on a situation, how to bring your child closer to God, how to, how to turn your child back to the church or how to get the man, how to get the girl. Like they can give you advice all day long and you can do them. But if the Lord is telling you to do the opposite of what they said, regardless of how crazy it sounds, regardless of how non-practical it may be, if he's telling you to do one thing and you're going to listen to the other person because of what the world is saying to do, you're not going to get whatever it is he has for you because that person that you are listening to is going to give you earthly, worldly advice and it's not going to help you. Us as Christians, we operate on a spiritual level. We do not operate on an earthly, worldly level. So that's why when I ask opinions of people, when I ask someone for their advice, I'm very careful of who I speak to because if I know they think on an earthly level and I'm thinking on a spiritual level, I know that nothing they say is going to work for my situation because we do things totally different. You're gonna know your situation better than anyone else, no matter how many times you explain it, no matter how detailed you are, like you are the only one that's really gonna go with you. You're the only one that's gonna know what you're going through spiritually, mentally, emotionally, like you're the only one. And especially if you have an ear to hear and you're trying to develop an ear to hear the Lord, I would highly suggest you just block everyone. And I'm talking social media, friends, family, if they're not on the same level, if someone is on a higher or deeper spiritual level than you, then yes, listen to them, but also don't start to depend on them. Continue to build your own relationship, to continue to build that ear to hear him because it is a need. Like I hear some of the advice that dating coaches give and I hear the advice that people on parenting give and I will look at my friend's situation or my situation or whoever, and I can be like, yeah, that's good advice, but this child isn't like that. Or like, yeah, that's good advice, but he's not like that. She's not like that. She actually thinks differently. The reason she did this isn't because of what they're saying. It's for a completely different reason. So someone's gonna give you advice based off of a generic average reason when the Lord is gonna be giving you insight into what's really going on with that person. You need to go and attack this spirit. You need to go pray against this. You need to go do this. You need to go anoint this. Like he's going to have you do things that the world is more than likely not going to have you do. For me, that has been so crucial in my journey because if I did things and I did do things that people would give advice about and I would do them without consulting the Lord or I would do them knowing what the Lord said, but hey, what you're saying really isn't practical, I'm gonna do what the world says, I end up being screwed, my blessing got held off. Like, it just didn't work out because we're not doing things on the same level. And that's why I say it's a need. You need to hear him for yourself because your situation, your life is not going to be like the rest of the world. We are Christians. We are a child of God. We are royalty. The way we do things, the way we operate, it's not going to be the same. And we're not going to be able to relate to a lot of people. So while where someone says, go off on them or send them this text, the Lord just might be like, pray and they'll reach out to you. 
but if we're doing what the world says, we might push that person further away from Christ or further away from us. Like, you just don't know. And as Christians, again, I will say, before you listen to the world's advice, develop an ear to hear the Lord because he will more than likely have you do things opposite of the world. Granted, he will use people to speak to you. You just have to have the wisdom and discernment to know if that was him or not. That's very, very key. When you are developing an ear to hear the Lord, ask for wisdom and discernment because the devil is going to know what you're praying for and he's going to try and trick you. So wisdom and discernment is something everyone should pray for every single day and not, not, okay, don't just pray for wisdom and discernment. Pray that you actually operate in wisdom and discernment because God can give it to you. But if you don't operate in it, it's like, why is it there? So just remember that hearing the Lord for yourself is just liberating. It's freeing. You're not dependent on your parents or siblings or your pastor. Like you are going to be able to walk in this world with your head held high and confident in the choices that you are making because you know who gave you the instructions. And that is just the biggest thing anyone could ever ask for because like I said it may seem like in the moment you're losing or it may seem like people are picking on you or people are questioning you you will have people question you it may seem like that in the moment but again once you develop that relationship once you know the character of God once you know that he makes a promise and he can't break it you are only going to have benefit the end result is going to be absolutely amazing and you'll be able to give your testimony to others who you probably never even thought you would before. People are going to come to you asking you, how did you do it? What did you do? What did you do so differently? What's different about you? Like whatever. All you're going to be able to say is just the Lord. Like that's really it. That's kind of where I'm at right now. People ask me, how do I do things? Like how did I pass this test? How do I have confidence to do this? It's literally just the Lord. Like. I can't tell you anything is me. Yes, he gives me gifts and talents, but if I don't pray for confidence in them, if I don't ask him to help me in it, I will fail it at all, and I know that. So once you know the voice of the Lord, and once you operate in it, and you have wisdom and discernment, you know that he gets all the credit, and it's just more of a testimony to others to draw people in. So if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, follow me on my socials. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. You don't want to miss Friday's topic. It's five day Friday. So that is where I will be breaking down key Bible and life principles in under five minutes. And Friday's topic you do not want to miss. So I hope to see you soon. Bye.